I think it was a very successful visit by President Trump and the First Lady of the United States. When he first came down the steps, he was greeted by the two patriarchs and Father Custis. And then after that, after that greeting came down towards the church of the entrance of the Holy Sepulcher, and uh, I went up to greet him. And then the president said to me, he said, how do we know that this is the authentic spot where Jesus was crucified and where he rose from the dead? And I said, well, Mr. President, uh, after Jesus died uh, and rose, the Christians came to pray at these spots. And it became so popular that when Hadrian the Emperor in 132 came into the Holy Land, he was very upset about the, the traditions of Christianity, about the people praying at these spots. So what he does, he builds two Roman temples over the two sites. Well, it covered it, it labeled it, but it labeled it for many centuries because people, through oral transmission, Christians, families came and said, underneath this uh, pagan temple is where Jesus was crucified, and under this other pagan temple is where the tomb of Jesus was, where he resurrected. So when Helena comes in, uh, in 335, she takes off the pagan temples, and the tomb is intact, and Calvary's intact. So the president was very, very pleased with that. And after we, uh, we, did, we spoke about that, we went up to Calvary. He saw the place of the crucifixion, we went down to see the anointing stone where our Lord was anointed. Uh, and then we were walking very slowly from the anointing stone to the tomb. And I explained to the president that this tomb was the third edicule that was placed over the place where Jesus resurrected. The first one, of course, was built by Elena uh, in 335. Uh, it was destroyed by Hakim in 1006. And then uh, the Crusaders came in and they built the second edicule uh, at 1140. It stayed that way until 1810 when there was a fire. And uh, the fire destroyed the tomb. And the present day tomb that you're going to see, Mr. President, uh, is the tomb of, of 1810. And the present that you see now has been renovated the last year and a half. And he was very, he was very touched by that. He didn't realize the history that this was the third edicule. Both him and his wife, the first lady, went in. They prayed for about two minutes. I could see that the president was spiritually touched and uh, he was very quiet. And we went to the Greek Orthodox Catholicum and then into the office where the Greek Orthodox have, a, uh, have a, a piece of the true cross. And about five minutes later, after that quick visit, they had to go. It was only 25 minutes, but it was a very successful visit. Uh, I believe he came as a pilgrim. Uh, both of them came as a pilgrim to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Uh, he came also as a world leader, but the most important thing is coming to the tomb of Christ and coming to the site of his resurrection and both were quite pleased with the entire affair. I think the involvement between the Israelis and the Palestinians uh, through the visit of President Trump made quite a bit of difference. Uh, he was very positive in both, in both areas. This is a very complicated situation here in the Holy Land uh, between the Palestinians uh, and between the Israeli government. But hopefully through people of goodwill on both sides, peace will ensue.